is that heart that is broken when the one who is the authority is going to say the heart is broken or not? It's not everyone to say. Oh, you say these words, oh, you break my heart. You say this word, you break my heart. You make fun of me, you break my heart. No. Because as murids, we have to know nothing that we have belongs to us. Correct? Not even our hearts. Everything belongs to Allah, yes. But to know, to jump from that to Allah, saying everything is Allah. Like, it's like idiots. They're so scared of everything. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. Everything is so, uh, there's so many things. I say, fear Allah. Oh yeah, I fear Allah too. But you know, whether you fear or you love, depending on what you are obsessing about, what you spend most time. What you're busy with, that is your ilah. If you're busy with mourning about the dunya, then you fear the dunya. If you're busy about complaining about how you are a bad servant to Allah, everything else, you don't care so much. They go up or down in dunya. But you're complaining to yourself, I don't know whether I'm going to finish this, I'm trying. Then that time, you are busy with your Allah. You understand? But very few people will find them busy like that. So it is easy to say, oh yeah, yeah, I fear Allah too. Yeah, yeah, I, f- I, I, I fear this and I fear Allah. You don't know. That's why Allah sent prophets to say, obey this one, love this one, and fear this one. The love and the fear of this one will bring you to love, will make you to understand the love and the fear of me. And the awliya Allah and the shaykhs, especially the shaykhs, they are the ones that is going to teach you this because the era of prophethood is finished. So if you don't know how to love and fear your shaykh, then it's finished, it's done. Then, like we said before, your religion is according to your imagination. Tasawuf is according to your imagination too. So, to know that nothing belongs to us, everything belongs to Allah. Everything belongs to the Holy Prophet Allah has created everything for him, so it belongs to him. Now we step, make one more step. We say, that everything that we have, it belongs to our shaykh. Because the friends of Allah, the shaykh, as they are representing the Prophet wasalam, they are the ones who are givers. They take, they receive, and they give. They are the distributors. If the name of the Prophet is the name of Allah. They are the ones that take, and if they are taking from Allah and they're giving to you, and you bite their hand, Allah, Allah. What an unfortunate, cursed person that one is. You can make any excuse that you want. Your honor is according to your word. You say, I believe in you. Hmm? You say, I obey you. You say, I submit. But later you say, well, I don't like what you did to me. You are a person without honor. You understand? Because Prophet is saying, even if the Khalifa takes the skin of your back, skins you alive, don't rebel against him. And if you say, my Khalifa, the one that I obey, the one is going to reach me, the one that I've given bayat to is my Shaykh, and if he does that, I'm still going to submit. But if you say, I like it when he pets me, I don't like it when he washes me up, then your honor is finished. You're known as someone that your tongue is just going to move according to your nafs. You understand me? So, we must be careful. We must be very careful in these days. Because they are looking at us, like they say in Tariqat, hmm, to put the tongue behind the heart. Not just to say anything you want to say, and then later say, I'm sorry. To say anything you want to say, and then later say, well, I'm, I don't believe in what I said. Then you're a person who doesn't fit into the description of a believer, as the Prophet is saying. So now, in this Jamaat, I'm not going to touch any other tariqahs, any other Jamaat. In this Jamaat, Shaykh Fani said openly, don't you dare from murid to murid to say, you have broken my heart. He has forbidden that. Okay, correct or no? You, so many of you, you are still there, you witness, it's not just my word saying it. Because everyone's heart is now in the hands of the Shaykh. He's going to decide who is broken and who is not. Because that one, you're going to judge it according to your own nafs anyway. According to your own opinions or your own mood. You understand? So, Bismillah.
That way anyone can say just because he doesn't like someone saying something, say, oh, my heart is broken. You've done worse crime than breaking the Kaaba. But what is it? Did you ever think maybe you broke someone's heart before? Therefore you deserve it? In the Dargah, the Sheikh is the one who's controlling the things that's happening there anyway. Maybe he sent someone there for you to learn something. But people don't have too much of these kinds of beliefs anymore. That's why it's very, the connection is very weak. When the connection is weak, the smallest thing can give you the greatest fear. The greatest name will not shake your heart one second, but the smallest, tiniest thing will give you the greatest fear. We are here calling the name of Allah because it shakes our hearts. We are fearing that. If He likes, He can send us all to hell. If He likes, He can punish us all now. What, we're going to say, I worship you, you cannot do this? It is Allah. So people don't know their faith too much. They talk. The faith is according to them talk. But when it comes to walking the walk, they walk away. Walking the walk is what tariqat is, especially living in a dargah. That is walking the walk. You understand? There are so many people, they fail. Don't be so quick to say, to make a commitment. Eh? So, we have to be careful with these things also. So, in this jamaat, no. We're not, as per Sheriff and his um, uh, sohbats and his understanding and what he's making us to hold on to. He says, no murid is going to tell another murid, oh, you broke my heart. That is forbidden. And it's not it. It's no such thing. I'm the one who's going to decide whether this heart's broken or this heart is not broken. And um, we should not be, people become very childish. They become very childish. So we should not be, inshallah, Rahman. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al-Fatiha.